The last show left on Earth was filmed without a studio audience and was produced remotely from our bedrooms, basements, and bunkers coast to coast. Yay! What day is it? They're all bleeding together. It can't be Tuesday, because I remember Tuesday I... Yeah, so it can't be Tuesday. Then what day is it? I remember last Wednesday was the day that I... But didn't I move to Thursday so that I could... Oh, got him. So then what day is it? Why is it so hard to remember? Come on, man, what day is it, okay? Now, I remember Friday was the day that I picked up... But that was also the day I... And then... I can't go to the hospital. I can't go to the hospital. I can't go to the hospital. I can't... But that could literally be any day of the week, which brings us back to where we started, of what day it is, okay? So, Saturday, I... Oh. So Sunday, I... All fixed. But then I... What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Why are the days getting so weird? <laughs> come on, all right. Look, Wednesday was the day before I... Hang on. And I cooled down with... Tuesday, I... Let's rock. But that was also before... It. But over Thursday, I. Oprah. Who could forget Friday? I. For eight hours. I did that for eight full hours. I don't know why I did it for eight hours, but I did it for eight hours, and I'm not going to apologize for it. Happy birthday to Greg. Happy Whoa, back up. What was that? No, guys, we can't all sing at the same time. That's it. That was two days ago, and it was impossible to get a chicken sandwich yesterday because it was Sunday, so that means that today is the 11th. Woo! Come on! Who said I got a quarantine brain? <laughs> Wait. What year is it? Oh. Hi, my name is Lauren Ash. You may recognize me from television, but you probably don't. What a wild time to be alive. I've been quarantined for the past six weeks with my boyfriend. When we first went into quarantine, we'd been together for three months. Now, we've been together for 12 years, which is great. We managed to skip that pesky honeymoon phase of the relationship. I mean, who needs bouquets of flowers and exclamations of love? We've just traded those for night farts and shitting with the door open. Nah, that's you. It's also you. It's also you, okay? You know, for many couples, it takes years to learn the intricacies of how their partner's jaw clicks when they eat. But thanks to quarantine, I'm ready to rip my own skin off when I hear them get out the almonds. You know I'm filming this for you as a favor. And I appreciate that, honey. Thank you so much. Some of my girlfriends have asked me if I think he's the one. And the answer to that is, he better be. What? I want a wedding so bad. Oh, God. I'd release so many doves, we'd be violating city bylaws. I'm nowhere near a virgin, but I will be wearing neon goddamn white. I want to look like a motherfucking Precious Moments figure. Sounds like you could be marrying any guy. Actually, that's not true. I said that you better be the one because I can't imagine being trapped, spending literally every minute with anyone else and not smothering them in their sleep. The fact that I haven't concocted a murder-suicide idea at this point is proof to me that you're it, baby, okay? That being said, if you ask me one more time what time Zoom trivia starts on Saturdays, I'm gonna slit your fucking throat, okay? 8.30, same as last week and the five weeks before that. Always the same. Enjoy the show. When's this thing gonna end? We've got no idea when it's gonna end. And that's why we gotta keep doing the stuff that we're doing. I used to co-own a frozen yogurt shop. Just because I'm not a governor and I don't have my own talk show doesn't mean that I'm not the guy. 
So put me on the thing and I'll be part of it. I'm the one who came up with calling it the Rona. Who am I? I'm Robbie. Yeah, sure. You know Andrew and you know Chrissy. You don't know me. Just because you don't know my face doesn't mean I'm not the number one. Prisoners making hand sanitizer? Whose idea do you think that was? Getting the virus so your ratings go up? Whose idea do you think that was? Giving your wife and kid the virus so your ratings go up from the basement? Whose idea do you think that was? I'm Robbie. I'm Robbie. Hey, I'm not running for president. I just want people to know I'm out there. And breathe. You are an independent woman and you are going to have this baby on your own. All right, your birth plan is airtight. This is exactly why you registered for the best digital doula service. Thanks for using eDoula. My name is Steve. How far apart are your contractions? Steve Kerr? Just Steve is fine. What's your name? Oh, I'm Carol and... <laughs> Whoa, that sounded like a doozy. Carol, listen, this is your time to shine. Wait, wait are you doing this for extra cash while the NBA's on hiatus? No, no, I've actually been doing this since 97. You know, I delivered Dickie Simpkins' kid on the team plane. As a... Doula? Well, in both cases, you're coaching babies. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Carol, listen. <gasps> what you do right now is going to set the foundation for everything that happens from here on out. So listen to me. Take it one possession at a time. Possession? Work with me, Carol. Listen, I survived a fist fight with Michael Jordan. I have eight rings. I'm your doula. You can do this. OK. Good. Now. Let's take a deep breath, and we're going to push on three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> How are we doing, Carol? I'm scared. Did we make a mistake? We're bringing a child into the world with racism, disease, people chugging bleach? You know what? During the 98 season, the Bulls faced a ton of obstacles coming from all sides, not to mention the uncertainty that was going to follow. I mean, what would the Bulls do without Phil? Were the two Jerry's going to break up the team? I mean, there were so many things to think about. But we won that championship, Carol, and I went on to win another couple championships in San Antonio. And then I won three more with the Golden State Warriors. Hell, look at me now. I'm your doula, for God's sakes. So trust your instincts, Carol. You're going to be a great mom. <laughs> what time is it? It's game time! Who? <gasps> Congrats, champ. I could have done it without you, Steve. It's what I do. I motivate. OnStar Emergency, this is Sarah. Help is on the way. Are you injured? No, uh, a deer hit my car. We'll get a tow truck out to you as soon as we can. No, I need to go now. It's an emergency. I thought you said you weren't hurt. Well, that's no problem. We'll have an ambulance take you to the hospital. Oh, good. That's where the protest is. I'm sorry? I'm going to a protest, so if you guys could give me a ride, that'd be great. Let me just get my signs. I go to a lot of protests. A protest? Yeah. To liberate Michigan. I want my state to open back up. What? Why? Uh, because this is America and people should be able to come and go as they please. Except at the border. But there's no vaccine and people are dying. Yeah. And I'm dying to get my hair done. I mean, look at these roots. I can't see you, ma'am. Oh, please. I'm sure you guys got a camera in here. Everything's got a secret camera in it nowadays. Okay, I'm not helping you go somewhere without a mask and possibly infect others. Ha! How'd you know I wasn't wearing a mask? I knew you had a camera. Wild guess. So you gonna give me a ride or what? Hello? What? So she can work, but I can't get my hair done? Hey, there's that deer. Dear, you can't leave the scene of an accident. Hey, come back! Okay, 
Okay, so Uncle Pat's gonna read a bedtime story tonight, okay? Brad. So is is that a good idea? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's more for him than it is for you guys, so we do it, okay? Alright, he should be popping up here any second now. Oh, there he is. Is it working? Uh, I think we got you here. How's it going over there? Yeah. All right, buddy. Um, let's let's give it a go then. You're gonna do a bedtime story. <clears throat> um, I was gonna read him a short story from a book, and I don't have any of those, and I don't want to like fucking lie to kids. So I uh, I, I thought uh, I'd, uh, write one of just, my own. Just watch, watch. So here's uh, what I've been fiddling with. This called Greta tries to avoid falling in a well. Uh, Greta selected a border collie named Saturn from one of the cages. Uh, he can catch a frisbee, said the dog adoption guy. Greta thought, I bet it will make my old dad happy to throw a frisbee to a dog and see him catch it. Oh, her dad was getting old and- Ugh, you're not supposed to put your hand, don't put your hands in your mouth during COVID. There's a hair. Yeah, don't. Yeah. <clears throat> Her dad was getting old and would likely die soon, so it'd be nice to him, for him to have this Frisbee thing. A week later, Greta and her old dad were taking Saturn out to a janky-ass field full of weeds and broken trees to have him catch a Frisbee. Greta's dad looked at Greta like, this is stupid. Then he turned to Saturn and said, try not to fall into a well. Janky-ass fields like these always have old wells covered in a few vines, and if you fall on them, you break an ankle. Then you're standing on one leg in mucky water with a ton of drowned toads. Okay. We good? Still got more. If that's... Yeah, just... They yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, Greta turned to her father. Dad, did you fall into a well? Hell no, I'm not weak, he said. I'm just guessing there'd be a ton of drowned toads and shit. <sighs> All right. All right. Say good night. Now let's see if the, the let's see if this dog is worth a goddamn. This is almost the ending. Greta put the frisbee in the dog's face like this should be important to you. Then she whipped it out into the scraggly ass field and it sliced into the weeds. But the dog didn't budge, girls. Turns out it didn't care about that. All right. It did it. Did it. Greta's dad looked at her lovelessly. He turned to go inside, old and disappointed. He kind of looked forward to seeing the dog catch the frisbee, and now he had nothing. Wait, Greta said. Give him one more throw. I think he was looking at something else. Greta's dad shrugged and retook his spot in the mud. Mm. Greta looked out at the field. She hoped she could get the frisbee back without falling in an old well covered by a few vines and breaking her ankle and having to stand on one leg in mucky water with drowned ass toads. She gave herself a 50-50 chance, but she'd always been an optimist. All right. Are you good now? Yep, yeah, we're all ready for bed now. Thanks so much. Go ahead. Hurry up. Did that help? Uh, no. No, it did not help. So, you know what? When we do bedtime around here uh, and do reading, it's mostly it's mostly published stuff that's been vetted by objective kids book people, okay? Mainstream. Doesn't even have to be that. Look, man, anything we can do during this time... Ah, man, oh man. Hey, we sent you one of those uh, cook-your-own-dinner packages. It should be there in the next four days, okay? And make sure that you you say you like it because then that gives us like a free one on the every fourth, okay? Okay, man. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, are you lonely? Aren't we all? Are you isolating at home alone? Do you want a little company? Someone to chat to? We've got so many girls here who are hot and ready to talk. So hot. Seriously, we can't afford our electricity bills right now, so we stopped using our air conditioner and it is hot. You ruined my sourdough starter. We've got girls here who are ready to get you off because getting you off means their families get fed. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I can't believe it's come to this. I have a degree in human resource management. I have a master's degree in women's studies. My landlord isn't giving us a break on rent. I can't pay for my medication. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. I'll do anything. Call me. Please, call me.
We've got girls with no inhibitions. No morals. No savings. No other option. No one to turn to. No other way to make currency. So call now, because I'm barely legal. Barely legally blind. Seriously, she really needs corrective lenses and still hasn't received her stimulus check. I'm hungry, Mom! Shut up! Call me! 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 Hey, get out of my pool! Shit. Sorry! Hey, baby, you want breakfast in bed? Yeah. Alright, what do you want? Mm, eggs, please. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've made eggs. Eggs are... Eggs aren't gross at all. I can do that. Oh my god. Are some of these made of stucco? Because they have texture. Ooh, these are... Okay, I'll get it. I got it. You know, I was just thinking, it's so... It's so normal that we eat these. The eggs. I wish I had them at every meal. Ooh, god, that's hot. That's hot. Your stove is really hot. Okay, pan. Good idea with the pan. I will... And this is... This gets so hot. So they so they congeal and curdle, right? This is the curdler. Okay, I'm gonna break the bone ball and let the liquid chicken out. So last chance, if you don't, if you want to keep the liquid chicken in its bone, I'll break it. Okay, I'll break the bone. It's a quick one. It's a quick one. It's a quick one. It's cooking. I don't want to stab them anymore. No, 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 no! You want cheese? The hardened milk of a cow's boob. Yum! I like smoking. It's smoking. It's smoking. Is the smoke a ghost? Oh my god, it's a chicken ghost. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I wanna break up. Mm, now I'm starting to get it. Now I'm starting to get it. Mm. Do you taste the bones? If they're really small, you can really see how it's starting to form a real chicken now. The incubation. The incubator's really working. Yeah, look at that. It, yum! <laughs> you owe me, you owe me. All right, campers, listen up. Gonna list the items for the scavenger hunt. Have your pens and pencils ready. Item number one, find a rock. Item number two, find an oak leaf. Item number three, find a shovel. You're gonna take it down to the abandoned cemetery. Inside one of the coffins is a key. Find that key. You're gonna bring it back to the main building. You're gonna go into the janitor's closet. Inside you will find two bottles. One filled with water, one filled with bleach. Inside one of the bottles is a key. Find that key. You're gonna take it down to the boathouse. You're gonna get a canoe. You're gonna paddle to the island in the center of the lake. Here, you will begin fashioning spears out of sticks and rocks because inside one of your stomachs is a key. Find that key. First person back to cabin two is the winner of an authentic Ojibwe dream catcher. It has intricate webbing as well as real owl's feathers. Now, I can't speak to its efficacy in terms of stopping your dreams. Lord knows nothing stops mine. Well, I guess that's what I get for making an absinthe-fueled deal with a shady New Orleans fortune teller. If you learn nothing else from me this summer, let it be not to dabble in the dark arts, okay? It's all exciting at first, but eventually you find yourself waking up in the middle of the forest completely nude, covered in sheep's blood with no memory of how you got there. Ah, but here I am, prattling on about the darkness that engulfs every second of my existence. Go on, get out there, have fun, good luck to yous. And for those of you who don't make it through the night, congratulations. Maybe your soul is the chosen one. And then my dark lord will be appeased. And I can rest. Then I'll rest. <laughs> I'm in quarantine with my mom, dad, brother, sister-in-law, three cats, and one dog. And every once in a while, I just need to get out of the house and take a break. So I get in my car and I hit the open road. Sometimes I drive for 20 miles, just me and nature. The green grass, the glistening leaves, and blooming flowers give me a sense of hope. They make me feel free. And I come here to look at these majestic mountains where I realize how small and insignificant I am and what a big, beautiful, wonderful world we live in. 
But mostly, I come here to fart. Jesus! That sketch sucked. Sincerely, Helen Montgomery, A.E.A. Everybody, say hello to Bethany Cosentino from Best Coast. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? You are a legit indie rock queen. What was your first favorite band? Well, first of all, thank you. That's very kind of you. My first favorite band was Hanson. Ah, oh, yes, classic. I literally somehow found the phone number of the Hanson family and used to call their house in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Like, I have no idea how I did this, but I literally would call their house until one day, I think my mom was like, what are you doing? And then finally it was like, okay, I should probably stop being like the number one Hanson stalker. <laughs> I love this so much. I'm seeing here um, that we have a, a little friend in the corner of your screen there. So I want to ask you very quickly, you're quarantined at home with your dog and your cat. Tell yeah. us about your animals because they're superstars. Okay, so this is Josie. I don't know if you can see her, but... This is Josie. She is like a corgi chihuahua pit mix or something. I'm not entirely sure. She has like a very stocky body and she's very like, like buff in the chest. And Beautiful. then I have Snacks who's down on the ground um, and he's a 12 year old rescue cat as well. And they're just, you know, they're my children. I love them. Listen, my children are here too. I also have a dog that's very broad chested with short legs. So I'm here for it. Snacks and Josie have their own Instagram, right? They do. Bethany's best pets is a little pun on best coast, you know, oh, best pets. Gosh. But yeah, they, um, they're the greatest. I, I'm really grateful to have them, especially now. I feel like I actually thrive in the, the environment of living by myself, but if I was totally alone without a dog to walk or a dog to pet or like a cat to feed or a cat to have sit on my lap, like this thing would be bananas. So I feel like if anybody has the resources to adopt an animal, this is kind of like the best time ever to do so. Absolutely. I get it. Listen, um, this has been amazing. I can't wait to hear your song. What are you going to be playing? Um, I'm going to play a song off of our new album called Master of My Own Mind. And our new album is called Always Tomorrow. Amazing. Bethany Cosentino, can I call you Beth? You can call me Beth. Ah, we're it's there. A, we're there already. We're okay. friends okay. now. Okay. We're on friend level, so you can call me as my friends do. Okay, cool. Well, listen, everybody, check it out right now.
What did mom watch? I don't know. Today was a hard day. Nothing challenging, just like comfort food. Oh, maybe like a TV show we've seen before? You know, they just uploaded all nine seasons of your favorite 90s show. <gasps> yeah, put it on! Hey, look what's finally streaming. Oh, uh, that was your favorite in college. Let's watch them. Yeah, okay. Well, I got the assignment. Boss said I was the man. He's sending me on the London trip, baby. Merry old England, here I come. Richard, get out, London. All right, man. <clears throat> anyway, you check out the game last night? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big game. Big game. <clears throat> Don't go there. you are. What? I've been waiting an hour. Where were you? Well, I'm not gay. Was it always like this? Mm. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you say? Hey. I'm not gay. He's gay. <laughs> no, you're gay. Gay, gay, gay. <laughs> Was this made in the 80s? Yeah. No, no, this episode's 2003. Wow. Wow, yeah. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty. What's that? I mean, no homo. This court finds you guilty of being a homosexual. <laughs> I'm not a homosexual. I'm not, I swear it. Get him out of here. Hey, what happened to Doug? Oh, didn't you hear? He's serving 25 to life for homosexuality. You know, Jamie, they could get you for the same. Don't go there. Wow. <laughs> oh, really holds up. That's our show. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to Steve Kerr, Bethany Cosentino, and all of you for tuning in. Oh, and um, Grandma, if you are watching, I'm really sorry. Who could know that the thing that would save us is a